Hey you guys, welcome back to another KSR tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we're going to be going over how to install Ubuntu. Um, this is Ubuntu 11.4, I'm sure, or almost sure. Um, this, should, this tutorial will kind of go along with the later updates because it kind of works the same way. <clears throat> unless they completely revamp their uh, their website or whatever. But um, as you just saw when I pulled that up, we're going to be using Ubuntu's website. Um, I don't have like a media or download or anything like that for Ubuntu. Easiest way is their website. There is a link in the description below. Um, it'll be Ubuntu.com. You can either tap it in or just do that. It doesn't really matter. But once you get to Ubuntu's website, it'll look something like this. And yes, 11.04. This is the newest one. Um, I personally don't use 11.4. I actually downgrade mine to classic look. Because um, I've had the, myself, I've had the issue of my banner up here. I have my mouse going across. Yeah, right there. Um, it'll actually disappear. That sidebar will be disappeared. Um, unless you know how to work the terminal really well you're not going to be able to get it back so right now um, I kinda recommend downgrading but you can do whatever you want I'm sure somebody will watch this video in a couple months it'll be completely fixed and they'll be like well I don't know why you said that well sorry that was my personal issue so let's go ahead and go to the downloads in the uh, navigation bar and here is where it gets a little tricky for Mac users. If you have Windows, click Run It With Windows. If you have a Mac, try it from CD or USB stick. Or download and install. But if you download and install with a Mac, it will not work. It is the same as doing it Run With Windows. Um, me and my brother, we went over this because he has a Macintosh and it took forever for us to figure this out. We actually called my buddy and he came over and fixed it for us. But what you have to do is try it from a CD or USB stick, download it to your computer, burn it to the disk, um, start it up, run the exe file, and um, d install it from there. I'm not going to actually be making a tutorial on that because I do not have a Macintosh. Um, but if I can get my brothers, I will work on it and see what I can do for you. So, I'm a Windows user, so I'm just going to click Run on Windows. You get to a screen like this. And uh, just choose Start Download. Alright. And Save. I already have mine saved. It'll be whatever that says, .exe. Weeby. Woo. I don't know. Whatever. You'll see it. So, you click that. Click Save. And then, mine saved to my desktop right here. You'll get a little icon like this. Looks nice and... Ubuntu like. So go ahead and click on that. This little screen will come up right here. It says run. Click run. And it'll load. I don't know how long this video will be. I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes because there's no reason for it to go over. So I'm going to start rushing. Um, the previous installation was a previous installation was detected if needed to uninstall before continuing. I already had this installed. So, I didn't complete the installation because I was going to do this tutorial. But, so uninstall. Now mine, this is what will come up on your screen. You'll see that it says installation drive, how much memory you have free. I have 121 gigabytes free, which is not a lot because my hard drive is kind of large. But okay. Um, desktop environment Ubuntu. And I'm just going to put mine, go up as much as I can, 30 gigs. Mac users can put as much memory as they want. Um, I'm sure you, if you just regular download and burn it to a CD for Windows, you could give it more memory. But for every Windows computer that I've seen this running on, it only allows it 30 gigabytes unless you manually do it. So username, Matthew Holland. Um, password, it uh, doesn't matter. I'm just going to make my password. There we go. Alright, repeat password, there we go. Install. So I'm going to go ahead and come back whenever this finishes. Alright, I'm back. 
and my Ubuntu setup wizard just finished um, the load and you need to reboot your computer to complete the installation alright so I'm just going to go ahead and choose reboot now finish and yes I guess I'll be back one more time hey guys back again um, this is on Ubuntu now so you can see that this looks different from Windows obviously but what it's doing right now is the installation of Ubuntu um, it's just finishing it up whenever you restart your computer you'll see that it says your operating system which mine is Windows 7 and it'll be on like a the run kinda looking screen where it's black and it doesn't look very nice well I'll say Windows 7 or whatever you have below that I'll say Ubuntu so you just select down and then enter on your keyboard and you can start running Ubuntu. That's how you would have to select your operating system every time that you restarted or shut down and turn back on your computer. So if you turn your computer off every day, every morning or whatever, you would have to choose Windows 7 or let it load it yourself because after a certain amount of seconds it automatically does it. But um basically right now Ubuntu is just installing. It takes a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and end the tutorial here because afterwards it kind of just works you through it itself. It's a lot it's really easy to work with. There's really no need for a tutorial. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this was helpful. Sorry for the camera at the end. A little bit shaky. Um, but that's the best I could do. So thanks for watching.